Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today in this video, I am going to be joined by Elfily. You're not being cheeky, are you, Elfily? Are you being cheeky, Elfily? You better not be. Are you being cheeky? Be honest with me. Are you, Lee? Are you being cheeky? Yes, Lee was being cheeky. That's okay. <laughs> it's okay to have a cheeky bear every now and then. And it's also okay to have a cheeky cake. Okay, not not too cheeky now, not too cheeky. And it's also okay to have a have a cheeky cake every now and then. And I'm not too hungry, but I'm going to have a, uh, just a few slices. Num, num, num. There we go. A few slices of cake just to, uh, to set myself up for the rest of the day. And I'm also in this video uh, going to be joined by Rosie, who is... Oh, whoa, hello, Rosie. You're up bright and early today, charging up and down the stairs. Do not play on the stairs, Rosie. <laughs> and look, he managed to join in just in time. I'm also being joined by... We Wee Gaming, who um, you know, hasn't been in a lovely world video in a while, uh, but I think it's about time that uh, he returned and was able to join in uh, with all of the fun that we're going to be getting up to today. And uh, we should actually uh, be having quite a lot of fun because uh, we're going to be playing the Bouncy Boats, uh, which is the uh, the game that I was building in my last video. Um, I've done a little bit more work on it. Uh, I did all of the uh, the boring redstone stuff outside of a video, so don't worry, you're not going to have to watch any of that stuff. Uh, but yeah, we should be uh, hopefully uh, finishing it off in this video. But before we do that, uh, I'm going to add someone to my love garden. And today, I am adding Lexi Oldham. And uh, that's because of a uh, message she sent me on my Facebook page, actually, uh, which just said, Spruce! You just said that in a really bad man voice, smiley face. <laughs> and she was right. When I read the message, I did read it in that really bad voice. And just for an excuse to say spruce, um, I decided to add her to my love garden. So thanks for your message, Lexi, and welcome. And if you're not sure what my love garden is, by the way, uh, why I have a, a pink heart and a whole load of signs, uh, basically at the start of every single one of my videos, uh, I go to my love garden and I give someone a shout out uh, to say thank you for leaving a silly comment or sending me a picture, a video, whatever, uh, whatever, whatever I need to say thank you to someone, uh, the best way to do it is to add them to your love garden. Uh, something I also do, also do at the beginning of my videos is picking a dog, and today I am going to take with me, hmm, I'm thinking of, I know who I could take, oh, oh no, I think, I think Lee's made a choice, Lee, is that Benton, do you want me to take Benton with me? Okay, I'll take Benton. Where, 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 where is he? Where, where is Benton? I'm going to have to track him down, right? Oh, here he is. He's right down here. Come on, Benton. Uh, you can join me for the uh, the video, boy. And I'm also going to go and take mittens with me because uh, I always like taking mittens with me. I think that uh, probably eventually uh, I'm probably not going to be able to take her with me every single video. But uh, seeing as she still is technically a kitten, uh, I think she she gets sad when she gets left up for here alone. So mittens, uh, you can join us for the video as well. And should we have fun? Should we go and just dive off your balcony instead of going to down the ladder? Right, free. Two, one, oh, psh, splash. <laughs> Is Mittens going to jump out there? There's Mittens. Oh, no, there's Benton and Mittens. Did you see that? They both just completely dived down. Uh, that was pretty awesome. Right, be careful in the water. I never knew how well cats could swim. Oh, look at them both swimming together. <laughs> I think Mittens is making friends with all of my dogs. At first, uh, she was just really good friends with Duncan, but uh, she seems to be uh, getting along with all of them now. But anyway, seeing as uh, we've gone this far anyway, I'm going to I'm gonna take the uh, the scenic route to my, my fun land today. I normally... Uh, always ride my minecart, but uh, seeing as it's really not far at all, I might as well just go and run this way. Shall we go ice skating? Shall I ice skate to my fun land rather than going on the uh, the minecart track? Anyway, I should probably say what it is that we're doing today. Uh, as I said, we're going to be carrying on building the Bouncy Boats game. And uh, we kind of got it in a, a working state in the last video. We made we actually managed to uh, play a pretty good fun game of it, which uh, me and Lee managed to win. And uh, yeah, so all we need to do now is kind of decorate it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show some of the uh, the more mechanical sides, as you can see. Um, there's a bit more redstone added to the game now. Um, this bit still is pretty much exactly the same. Um, I think I made the lily pads a little bit smaller, and uh, I think there's only one ladder there apart from three now. Uh, but apart from that, uh, this place is pretty much uh, as it was uh, in the last video. Uh, but what we have have done is added a mechanism to start the game and so there's a lever here which would pull to start the game and if you look at it now uh, you can see there's no boats and uh, all of the doors are shut uh, but if I come down here and pull the lever you can see that all the doors open and there's a little boat down there so uh, it's basically a, an automatic way just to, to start the game up for you uh, rather than having to say like three two one or any of those shenanigans you can literally just start the game and then you can just go back up here and you can go up the uh, the ladder when you're finished the game uh, come through here pull the lever and then all the doors should hopefully stay shut there we go so that that's how the uh, the game is going to work and uh, we've also changed that what you have to do 
Um, originally, we were going to have it so you've got to bring mushrooms. Uh, we've actually changed that, uh, so it's going to be either sand or gravel. So you see, if I take this sand, uh, this, that's what. So say I was on the other team, I'd go get the sand and take it back, and then I'd place it down here. That actually is going to drop down, and there's a torch which will break the sand, so it lands on a pressure pad. And so that pressure pad is what is going to set off you winning the game. And uh, what happens when you win has kind of changed slightly as well. Basically, in the top up here, I'm going to build a, uh, a big frog's face here and a big frog's face over there. And when the uh, the team wins, their frog, uh, their tongue's going to extend, so they're eating a fly. And then the other frog is going to start crying. I'm going to put some dispensers in their eyes, as uh, so it's going to be as if the frogs got really upset uh, because it wasn't able to to get the fly. And so yeah, I think that would be quite amusing. Uh, so all I need to do now uh, is build the, the frog faces and they're going to be tropical frogs. Uh, I didn't want to use green or dark green because I think there's already way too much green here and Lee's adding more as we speak. Uh, so I'm going to use a um, uh, a purple frog face and a I think a, a yellow frog face as well. So um, I've kind of come up with a bit of a design for a sort of silly looking frog face and so yeah I'm going to try and uh, build it in now. So I want to try and get exactly in the center. Uh, is this the center? I think that- oh god. <laughs> no I don't think that was the center but I kind of had to, to find out somehow. Oh god, am I going to be able to jump from here up to around there? Got a bit of parkour here. Do you reckon I can make that? Is that jump possible? No, not by me. It might be possible, but not by me. I'm going to have to pile up here quickly. Uh, thank you, Lee. I think Lee was there coming to save me. Maybe I should uh, leave that leave that door open for now for when I inevitably fall down again. Anyway, let's go and uh, get a move on and try and start building these frog faces. So I need to go five along for the bottom. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then I need to build up like this. And so it kind of looks a bit weird uh, just because um, originally I wanted the frog to have a, a smiley face. Um, but the smiley face didn't work for when the, the tongue got extended. And uh, I then tried giving it a nose, but that looked a bit weird as well. So this isn't going to be an amazing looking frog, but it's going to work for the purpose. And it's going to be quite small as well, just because uh, it needs to, to fit in within the game. So... I think if I just try and do the same on both sides, that should go out uh, to about there, and then it should go up to about here. So this is the, the main body of the frog. You can probably kind of see it there. And so all I need to do now is uh, add the eyes. So as I said, the eyes are going to be dispensers, uh, just so the, the frogs can cry when, when their team loses. Poor frog. And then, yeah, so I need to do a dispenser on both sides here, and I'm going to give them big cartoony eyes, because I always love doing that. So I'm just going to use white wall, and you can't actually place wall on a dispenser, uh, because otherwise you'll just look in the dispenser. So I need to uh, do a few more blocks just so I can do that. And then if I build some more purple wool over the top of the eyes, it will give those sort of froggy looking eyes with them like protruding from the, uh, the top of their head. So if I go like this, like this, and like this, this should kind of look like a bit of a frog. It won't have a mouth yet, but um, there we go. There's, there's my froggy face. I kind of like it. I know it's a bit silly and it doesn't look much like a frog, but I kind of like it. And so all I need to do now uh, is give him his uh, big red tongue. So let me try and uh, jump back up here. I'm not, I, I could actually try doing it from the back. I think it will be about here. I think should be where the tongue is going to be. Uh, let me go and see if that looks about right. See if it's wonky. No, that's that's about fine. So that's how the, the frog looks. I kind of like it. As I said, it is a little bit silly, uh, but I think it looks fine. So all I need to do now is uh, go and try and do the exact same thing uh, on the other side. So uh, I'm going to try and make sure I get it all of the exact same height. I think I might need to, to build up a few of these vines. And what everyone else is doing, by the way, is uh, they're going round like Lee as I'm just building all of the, uh, the walls in. And so they're all going to look like tall grass that you might get uh, around the, the outside of like your pond at home. So that's what the the whole place is going to look like. So I think I need to build up one higher here uh, along this bit here. So I'm going to try and uh, keep him with this same colour scheme. And then yeah, I can go and build a uh, a yellow frog on this side. Very nice uh, tropical looking frogs. Like I think I could use green ones and it probably would make it look a little bit more like a real frog. But then I just think this whole place would be way too green. And uh, yeah, I don't know if you looked at it for too long. You think it's just a big pile of bogeys or something. And we do not want that. We do not want that. <laughs> God, I'm getting even more cheeky than Lee was. Anyway, let's go build our frog then. So we need to do the exact same. So see how quickly I can do it. Do you want to tie me and see how quickly I can build this frog? I should have the practice because I just built that one. Okay, ready, start the timer. Actually, let me get rid of this block. I'm going to do it fair. Start the timer now. So one, two, three, four. Oh, no, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. I need to get rid of that block there. Oh, God, it's the pressure. It's the pressure of the time. Now you know why I'm so bad at quick builds. As soon as you had a, a time limit, I always just end up building stuff wrong. So it needs to go out to about here on this side. And then it needs to go up to here, I believe. And then I just need to fill all of this in and then do it on the other side. And then the main face is done. All I need to do is go and add the eyes. And there's no chance that I'm going to do this all right because I'm rushing so much. Right. So this needs to go up like uh, that and then up like that. 
And then I need to go and fill all of this in. How am I doing for time? How am I doing for time? I haven't actually set a limit, but um, I seem to be doing okay, actually. I think I just need to go and add in the eyes. So it's going to be one dispenser there. Move along one dispenser there. And then I need to go and fill in the white wall. Uh, I'm going to do that same as I did last time. Place that there and that there. And then I just need to get rid of that and fill in the yellow wall. And then once I've added the mouth, that's going to be it done. That was kind of record time. That was. I am pretty impressed with myself, right? I just need to go and do the mouth, which is going to be... Is that right there? No, it's going to be there. And... It is finished! Woo! I managed to build my frog! <laughs> I like it! God, it looks so weird when it's yellow, doesn't it? It doesn't look anything like a frog. Is that right? Is that the same? Yeah, I think they do look the same. Once again, they don't look much like frogs, but uh, they do look kind of silly anyway. And then, so what's going to happen when you drop down the... Um, the sand or gravel down here, there's going to be a, a whole load of redstone torches, which I think, once again, I'm going to do outside of a video because I know a lot of you get bored and fed up when I'm doing redstone. Uh, but yeah, that's just going to make that tongue extend, and then the frog on the other side uh, is going to go and uh, start crying. But it's just becoming night, so should we all have a, a quick nap? I remember when we were playing this yesterday, there's a load of creepers. If we all go inside a flower power, uh, there should hopefully be a one bed each. It might be a good idea. So if everyone wants to, uh, to get outside of the, the pond for now, everyone's trying to find their ways out of there. The whole idea is that uh, you're not supposed to be able to get out of there apart from using the ladders. Well, if we all come in here, uh, we can have a, a quick nap. And then in the morning, uh, I'm going to help everyone else out uh, putting all of the grass down. And then we can have a, a very quick test to go. Uh, we're going to try and kind of keep the same teams as last time. Uh, of course, uh, Ballistic Squid isn't here anymore. So we're going to do uh, me and Elfa Lee uh, against Wee Wee Gaming and Rosie. And uh, I'm going to be the boater this time. Last time I was the bouncer, which means I was the person bouncing. Uh, but this time I'm going to be the boater, which means I'm going to be the person boating, I guess. <laughs> Which means I'm going to be the one sailing around, and uh, Lee's going to be bouncing off my head. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but first, I am going to very quickly show you uh, just how this opening mechanism works, uh, just in case some of you did want to try and rebuild this. Um, it's relatively simple. Uh, so this lever here, has redstone which is linked up to these um, these uh, pistons here and uh, there's repeaters which are pulled back uh, just because there's some delay as the redstone travels across so this way uh, the door should open at pretty much the exact same time and so yeah these all extend which is what blocks that doorway there and there's another little trail that goes down to there which is the um, uh, the dispenser and uh, there's a redstone torch there which kind of inverts the signal uh, meaning that um, otherwise, if I pull the lever, the boat would only appear as the door shut rather than they open. Um, yeah, does that make sense? Maybe, maybe not. I don't, I'm not even sure if I completely understand it. Uh, but anyway, that trail from that dispenser uh, goes down this way and uh, basically leads uh, the whole way across here to the other side. Uh, there's a few more repeaters here just to send the signal. And then it's pretty much uh, the exact same thing on this side where there's a, a trail of redstone going to the dispenser, uh, which is actually above there, a block above there. And then once again, uh, the same blocks and the same setup going into these pistons. See what I mean? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So uh, on this side, there's gravel and uh, on the other side, there's sand. And I used uh, grand, uh, sand and gravel uh, just because um, when you place them, they drop. Um, if I if I grab this gravel, I'll kind of show you what I mean. I'm sure most of you know what I mean anyway. But uh, if you place gra uh, Savile or uh, Savile, <laughs> if you place Savile, <laughs> oh dear, if you place gravel or sand, um, yeah, it just goes and drops down like that. So that's the reason um, I use them. Anyway, enough boring blubbering on about redstone stuff. Let's get this finished. Then we can play it. And then what I'm going to do between this video and the next video... And I'm going to hook up all of the uh, the rest of the redstone with what I said about the frogs crying and the tongues extending to eat the flies and all of that uh, crazy stuff. And then, yeah, once that's all finished, uh, we'll have one big final game where I'll probably, I'll probably have a tournament or something. We could have like a, a best of three tournament uh, to see who is the, the best at the uh, uh, the bouncy boats to, to see who's going to be the, the overall winner. But uh, I do definitely want to have a, a quick tester game here. So uh, if we try and just build up at least uh, a bit of the walls the whole way around uh, just to make sure uh, no one can jump out. And uh, it doesn't matter if we completely finished this but I kind of like the look of it already I think it looks different to all of the other rides I think a lot of the rides in my fun land some of them are quite cool but a lot of them are a bit plain and boring and stuff so uh, I really wanted a, another big bright and colorful ride with its uh with its own style and I think that's kind of what this what this uh, mini game is gonna be so let me just go and uh, build a whole bunch more around here and uh, yeah once I've done this last bit of the wall here this should be uh, enough for us to uh, be able to go and have a, a little quick uh, test again. I'm kind of curious what it's going to be like uh, being a, a boater. I don't know what would be more fun. I think most people would probably want to be a bouncer, uh, but because I'm quite uh, bad at parkour, I don't know um, yeah, whether that's the, the best role for me. Maybe uh, Lee's going to be a bit better at it because uh, he's quite good at parkour and stuff. Anyway, is this, is this it about done? I, th I think that's probably about enough. I think I built probably a bit too high compared to everyone else, but uh, there's just a, a few little gaps down here. Uh, so once we've uh, filled this in, uh, we can go and have the uh, the first test to go so let me just go fill these last few in i think that should be it 
uh, just about sorted, I believe. Uh, jolly good. So I'm going to get rid of this uh, random purple block that I put down earlier and uh, get rid of the uh, the two boats that are in here already. And then, yeah, if uh, if Rosie and Wee Wee, if you go over to the uh, the yellow frog side, uh, I'm going to stick with the uh, the side I was in last time and I'm going to go on uh, the uh, the purple frog side. And all of this is obviously going to be filled in. Ignore ignore the messy redstone stuff. This if Pretend all of this stuff isn't here. This is all going to be covered up like this. And uh, for the entrance as well, there's going to be um, a whole load of vines sort of over your head around here and covering up the uh, the redstone behind the frog so ignore all of that for now it's all a work in progress let's have a game though though uh, let's go and uh, have ourselves uh, a quick test to go so uh, if you want to come down here lee uh, i'm going to go and uh, shut the the door so no one can get in yet uh, you might want to step back a little bit rosie uh you're obviously going to get stuck inside the game or get squashed by the door which is a, a worse possibility okay you ready lee where are you? Where, where is Lee? Lee? Lee, are you ready? Come on, I need you. You're going to be the bouncer. Oh, he's on the wrong side. of the Just break your way free, through, Lee. Don't worry about the doorway. Okay, you ready for this? Are you psyched up? Are we going to win, Lee? I didn't hear you, Lee. I said, are we going to win? Come on, give me more enthusiasm than that. Are we going to win? Woo! Yeah! We okay, he's going to start juggling. Okay, pick your stuff up now, Lee. Let's not go crazy. <laughs> okay, we will begin the game in a three, two, one... Oh, missed the lever. Go, 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 go. Right, where's my boat? Where's my boat? Right, I've managed to hop into my boat. Okay, we want to try and get a big advantage. The first team into the middle uh, gets a really big advantage. Good goalie. Oh, nice. He got it in first go. That was better than I did. I didn't get it in my first go. Okay, so it looks like they're having a bit of trouble. It looks like they've both jumped into the water. Only one of you needs to go in the boat. If you lose your boat, press the button and it should spawn in another one. Oh, there we go. Lee's got all the way to that side already. We are dominating. Oh, look, they've lost their boat. They've just got a row boat going around. I don't know, I'm getting stuck. Oh no, there's a, there's a block out the way there. Let me get rid of this block or else I'm going to end up killing myself. Let me get rid of that. Okay, I think I'm going to have to go around the other side, Lee, because there seems to be uh, a rogue boat just wandering around down there. I think they're getting spare boats. I think that's their tactic. Rosie's not in a boat. Wee Wee just tried to jump off her head. <laughs> oh no, but this is troublesome though, because Wee Wee could try and jump off me, which he is uh, allowed to do. And oh, Lee, he tried to jump off me there. Okay, you need to get the get the gravel if it's there, Lee. You need to pick up the gravel and try and bring it back. Rosie has finally refound her boat. She's there holding her fish as well. Come on, Lee. Try and try and jump on us. If you can't jump on me, try and jump on, on Rosie. I try and line it up so you can jump above across both of us. Oh, he managed to do it. He managed to jump off Rosie. <laughs> Nicely done, Lee. Right, let's go quick. Let's go quick. They've not even got to their first one yet. Right, I'm going to try and stay in the middle here. Okay, take your time, Lee. Take your time. We do not want to. We do not want to lose this. We do not want to throw it away. Okay, we just got the last final jump to do. How are they doing? How are they doing? Wee Wee's wandered up. He's given up. He's just gone to go and uh, play a different game. He's had enough of this one. Rosie's just happy sailing around, having fun in the boat, and we managed to do it. We managed to do it. <laughs> Nicely done, Lee. Nicely done. <laughs> oh, that was all. What's going? What's going on over here? What's going on, guys? What's up? So something, something had to be up there. That that all fell to pot there didn't it what's going on rosie are you okay do you want me to have a go about do you want to have a go bouncing rosie because i know you haven't had a go bouncing if you get out the boat i'll get in the boat and just for fun you can have a go bouncing off my head just to see how much fun it is okay right i'm gonna wait for me to get into position i'm gonna try and stay still you want to sprint and jump and then immediately jump again as you land on me Come on, Rosie. Everyone's watching you. You got this. You got this. Yes, you managed to do it. And there goes Wee Wee. Oh, no, Wee Wee. Come on, Wee Wee. You can have another go. Come on, you can have another go. We won't leave it with that. <laughs> Come on. We, we've all got to do it at least once just to just to show that we can. Okay, I'm trying to get into position. He's getting a big... Oh, look at that. Run up. Go on. He almost ran back to my house. And big jump and jump again. There we go. We can all do the bouncy boats. <laughs> oh, dear. That was awesome. So as I said... Now, in between this video and the next video, we're going to go and finish off some of the the more boring redstone stuff just to uh, make it so the frogs can cry and eat flies and all of that other stuff. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed uh, seeing me building my froggy faces. I want to say a big thank you to Rosie, Wee Wee and Elfa Lee uh, for joining me and uh, helping me build the game. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to play it properly. Uh, but for now, that's the end. So I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you later. Bye!